So here I am on hole five and I found the front left green side bunker here. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about sand shots because I think they get misunderstood a little bit as far as to how you're supposed to play them. So I'm gonna face like I'm gonna hit it that way first just so I can show you how to set up to the ball. So when I've got a sand shot, what I do is I add a little bit of extra knee flex and I make sure that my hands are real low. So it would be this way, low this way. I wanna make sure that I'm using the club properly. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, a sand wedge, all clubs actually have what's called bounce, which is really the difference between where the front part of your club, the leading edge of your club, meets the ground. So if I have a club where I'm hitting a sand shot like here, I've got my 58 degree wedge, I don't want that part of my club sticking into the ground real fast because then I'm going to take a whole lot of sand, my ball's not going to go anywhere. So the part of your wedge that you want hitting the sand first is actually the back part. So we need to set up to accommodate for that. So when I set up to hit my sand shots, wider stance, a little more knee flex, low hands, I set up a little bit more weight on my front foot. And when I set up, you can see I've got the club shaft itself leaning backwards. And what we just talked about, you know, if we're trying to get the back portion of the sand wedge to hit the sand first, it would certainly make more sense to set up like this than it would like this. I see a lot of people get in there in the sand and they move their hands forward and they kind of beat down on the sand and sometimes it gets out but a lot of times they take a whole lot of sand so what I'm showing you here I think will get you out of the sand uh, the most number of times and get you close to the hole so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. Uh, in my swing itself really all I'm trying to do is feel like I'm taking the club kind of more abruptly up in the air so we're just talking about a basic greenside bunker shot. I'm getting the club up and then when I finish, I'm trying to finish with the grip pointed down. I've got kind of soft arms, so I don't need to make any really big motions. And my lower body is really quiet. I'm not doing a whole lot with my lower body. So it would kind of look like this. All right, I'm gonna hit this one, see what I can do here. I think that should be pretty good. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Seymour putters and why I really believe in them as a, as a good tool to use to help you putt better. Uh, Seymour putters, if you're not familiar with them, they've got a red dot kind of on the heel of the putter. And what happens there is if you get it set up straight, you don't see the red dot. So why would that benefit your putting? Well, if you can get set up over the ball and know that your putter is perfectly square to where you want to putt it, it's certainly going to build confidence and, and Seymour putters have kind of that built-in system so if you know that you can get set up the exact same way day in and day out and you've got a checkpoint for that right in your putter uh, seems to me like it would be a good reason to use that kind of putter so with Seymour putters we've got what's called the click uh, putting system so basically we've got shafts and heads and we can take them apart different grips different lengths so we've got an endless number of combinations. So if you want to try one putter out, you can just come down and I'll fit you for a putter. I'll let you take it out on the golf course uh, and you can try a Seymour putter for yourself. They work well.